Welcome back to the Golden Gloves. Dave Bontempo, Tony Page, and Kathy Burke. Let's get the introductions now for our next bout. Our next bout is the women's 138 pound championship. The referee is Randy Brown. In the goal corner, Chinazo Arena Anakwe. 24 years old, she represents Team Freeform from Brooklyn. She is enrolled in the Actors Studio MFA program at Pace University. Her record won by. In the blue corner, Kathleen Walsh, she's 18 years old. She represents the Heavy Hitters Boxing Club from Ronkonkoma, Long Island. She's a lifeguard. Her record, one decision. All right, so they'll meet in the center, they'll tap up. And we're set to go for two minute rounds in the women's 138 pound division. Chinazo Anakwi. Pretty focused and prepared. And let's see how they handle fighting before this crowd. Anakwi going right after her. Good right hand by Anakwi gets in. You got an uppercut in there. Good right hand there by Anakwi. She's throwing the jab even when it's not landing, just coming in behind it. We've been looking for that all night. She cut off the ring pretty well there, too. Good right hands here by Anakwi. And Walsh. Staggered a bit. Getting. Overpowered here. Needs to fight back. He's also not defending very well. She moves her head until something's coming at her, and then she's just like a deer in the headlights. Right hand by Anakwi. Nice right hand. Ooh, that, that hurt her. Right after Walsh had stood up. Nice little defense by Anakwe also. So the punch coming out of the way. Couple misses here by Anakwe, but Walsh can't get to her. Anakwe the aggressor. Now the question is, can she maintain the, coat, the pace she set? Walsh trying to counter now. But Anakwe has had a tremendous first round. So, however the rest of it goes, for Chinazo Anakwe, it's a highlight reel opener. Here we're going to see a nice right hand by Anakwe. There it is, right down the middle. Turned into that punch head. really nicely. Her name means God saves his own. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Second round action. The first was very good to Chinazo Anakwi in the gold. Go in charge of Kathleen Walsh here. Going at her again. Walsh trying to counter. Chinazo means God saves her own. Her mother's from Nigeria. When she was pregnant, she was coming to Canada. Her uncle was always late. They took her to the airport. They missed the plane. The plane crashed. Ooh. God saves his own. Everyone on the plane crashed. 83 people died. She said back in the 80s. Bubbling personality. And pretty good jab to go with it. It's got a lot moving here. It's made a lot of the second chance then presented in her life. Yes, indeed. Anakwi does a great job, Kathy, cutting off the ring. She does. She's slowing down a little bit now. I'm wondering if she's tiring. Otherwise, everything we've seen from her looks good. Now she may have hit a stamina wall as she takes a left hook now from Kathleen Walsh. 
she's, she's not as smooth moving her legs right now. Question is, can Walsh pick up on this now? She's trying to get a little bit more in. We've spoken about a lot of the women taking boxing for fitness, and Kathleen Walsh is a perfect example. She used to weigh over 170 pounds. She started boxing, and she's already lost over 30. Payoff all by itself. Yeah, they should sell uh, boxing as the way to lose the weight. I don't think they have to sell it. They don't have to sell it anymore. You can uh, lose the weight and get a Golden Gloves title too. <laughs> Every time you throw a combination, either, either you know, young lady sitting you down. Your hands and then she's catching you with a combination coming back out. You know what I'm saying? So you go your heart rate down. And again. And now listen to me carefully. Out. That one, two is the key to winning. That one, two, one, two. Sometimes you can double up on it. One, two, one, two. Triple. One, two, one, two, one, two. Move. All right. Don't give her a punch's chance now. Keep those hands busy, baby. And don't get anxious. Don't overload. Work on your speed. Your speed. Your speed. Shake it out. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. Come on. All right. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Third round action. Tinazo Anakwe in the gold and Kathleen Walsh in the blue. Anakwe with a strong opening round. And trying to continue here in round three. Akwe's holding her own. Just swarming and walking to Walsh here. Now, if Anakwe is able to plant, she'll get a lot more on that stuff. And again, Walsh has no defense at all. Anakwe's slow on her feet now. She was a lot smoother. That's what seems to slow down her legs. It's a little awkward when she comes forward now. Well, this is... Fatigue is a battle now for Anakwe, and Walsh's supporters trying to urge her on. Trying to figure out how to get inside. Her nose looks like a mess now. Now she eats jab after jab. Watching the way Nakwe is dragging her back legs. She's not planning it when she throws now. Now, she's been in a little bit of a skipping, lunging type of a mode for the last round and a half as uh, the boxers have hit the stamina wall. But Nakwe still boxing well. We'll be right back. Final round action in the 138-pound women's division final. In the Golden Gloves, Chinazo Anakwe in the gold. Having a strong performance against Kathleen Walsh. Walsh has closed the distance now as he gets popped going back. Good right hand by Walsh. And she gives the impression, Tony, that she would like this bout to have been a little longer. Yeah. Walsh is starting to find some things. You can get past Anakwe's jab now. Anakwe's footwork isn't that good. Anakwe has slowed down so much. Still got good pop. A little bit of movement here from Walsh. 
I don't know if his legs are cramping up on her. He just looks awkward from the first round. She was so smooth. He's breathing heavily as well now. But these boxers will try to gut it out. Nakui tries to make her case again. Good time to pour it on. Walsh may be running out of time. Good right hand and left hand by Walsh. Some of her best work. Less than 10 seconds. Well, for Walsh, the clock is her enemy. She got going well late. Anakwe was on top early. And an entertaining bout. Yes, indeed. It's one thing I could say over the years. Most of the women's bouts I've seen have been highly exciting. And really the crowd seems. They, they come. do. They come to fight. One thing, they all have guts. I've never seen one quit. No. Crowd seems to be a little bit louder. I think, you know, they're all giving their all. And you can see that right off the bat. Walls came on strong right at the end of the last round. Some good right hands. Real nice one. Jumped right back in there. Not going to try to show some defense. Nice end of the round for Walls. All right, girls, we got it. The anticipation. And you know, that's her rooting support. Win, lose, or draw. That's a way of thanking them for coming. Oh, yeah. I think she won, but I can't be sure. Little intervention. Maybe for Kathleen Walsh, the thing would have been give me just a little more time. She was coming on late. Let's see how it played out. The women's 145 pound champion is from the goal corner, Janasa Arena Anakwe. How about that? <laughs> Can't beat that raw emotion. How That's about great. that? <laughs> the last best in a free, unspoiled athletes. What a celebration. We'll be back with more of the Golden Gloves after this.